this is Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com, and I have two homeless guys hanging out at the CVS waiting for it to open. You guys yes. are going to go in there. Um, so, uh, Rodney Matheson. Okay, Rodney, how um, how'd you become homeless? What's the deal? Uh, a meth addiction and a arguing and fighting with my wife. Uh huh. Uh, Caused me to become homeless, and yeah. I'm staying at the shelter right now. Case management uh -huh. priority, working on getting rehoused, and uh, great. And are you off anger of meth? management? Yes, I am. Yeah. Hey, and how long ago? How, how long of a trip? How long of a trip was that? About eight months. Eight About months. Eight how long months. have you been homeless? Uh, three months. Going on three months now. Three months. Okay, yeah. so you're off of meth, and you're getting straight, and yes. the the Maxine's house is helping you. Yes, in Prado. Yeah, great. Mary Lou's helping my case management. All right, well, wonderful. So you're getting on your feet and getting yeah. situated. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, yeah. that's cool. That's good news. That's yeah. good news. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, they're helpful. They're really helpful. All right, well, God see. God bless you. Yeah, drugs, I'll tell you what, they're tough on they everybody. Are. They are. They the are. people who are straight and the people who are in in it. Yeah, I, I have personal experience with it. It's right. tough. It is. <laughs> Not for myself, but right. my loved ones. <laughs> anyway, and how about you? What, what's your name and, and what's... My name's Nicholas Robert Burrell Jr. All right, hi. Howdy, howdy. And um, what what made you become homeless? It's. Oh, let me see. I uh, marry wrong. All right, yeah. I make bad financial decisions. Uh huh, yeah. And I, uh, the choice is how I entertain myself while they are very bad. Okay, and so how long have you been homeless? About 20 years. For 20 years? Okay, so your entertainment's been going for a while. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Well, you know, you know, they say the biggest, best choice, the, the biggest choice you could make in a lifetime is your mate. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And it's true, because if you pick the wrong mate, it can kind of make it flip-sided. I know that much. Yeah, yeah. I've got a mate. I'm married. I'm married. Uh-huh. Like and I she, said, we're working on it. Yeah. And see, your mate's hanging in there with you. Yeah. I'm and not. then just a mate. If it's not the right mate, it can really mess you up. Absolutely. Yeah. So anyway, thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day. All right, thank you. All right. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.